All right, Marcus. ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Dracova, and we are going to be doing another Pallycast episode. I have no freaking clue what number of Pallycast it is. I'll have to figure it out later. I'm sure you guys will know by the time I put this up. But um, Dracova has been doing Season of Mastery. If you've been keeping up on him, he's got rank 14, which is something that I'm kind of jealous of, but also super impressed. You know, lifing motherfucker. Um... But I just wanted to talk to him in general about his experiences with Paladin and Season of Mastery, Season of Mastery in general. Um, one thing I have noticed from watching him, which we're we'll definitely going to be talking about today, is he apparently uh, Paladins can now seal twist. It's specifically righteousness into command, right? Uh, you can seal twist like command and righteousness into justice as well, but it doesn't have that many purposes. There's a judgment issue there. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So, well, because there's could, other twists, but you the main one is righteousness and the command. Okay, okay. It's the main one. All right, cool. All right, so, um, what is your take on season of mastery in general? First off, how was ranking? <laughs> Ranking's better now. Uh, I mean, it's still toxic. I mean, it's still a, a, probably not a good system. It's it's better. I mean. Just because it's two X or whatever, yeah. I think the comp, I, I think uh, the the amount of honor you have to get is going to go down, but it's twenty one hours a day, eighteen hours a day. Jesus Christ! It's it's really bad because here's the thing: at least until recently, it was like the only way to get the, the best gear. Like, I think they should have gated the gear more. Like, it should have been mean the rank PvP eleven gear or the. Yeah, like rank eleven is like kind of the highest you can get, and then maybe actually I would have done ten, and then like eleven when BWL came out, and then when AQ comes out, you can get higher. Like, because it's kind of ridiculous. Like, it was like the haves and half not. So basically, <laughs> is it still have and have you, nots? <laughs> it, the PVEers got kind of screwed because the content get harder, got harder, and yeah. then simultaneously, uh, we could PVP as soon as the games. Like started yeah, like I was ranked eight, yeah, Jesus Christ, seven. By the time I hit sixty, I remember you were laughing your ass off because you had like rank ten by the time. Yeah, you were like, I have my, I have gear. I don't need to go do dungeons. Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I think that was actually bad game design. Um, I, I mean, I don't. It mind works for me yeah, yeah, specifically. Yeah, yeah. But... I, I don't mind it as game design, but you know I me. Mean? I I look took one look at everything and I was like, you need to double the drop rates in PVE. Like, the dungeons need yeah. to be doubled, the fucking, um, or at least the boss drops need to be doubled in dungeons. Uh, we well, can't farm it six ways from Sunday, right? Um, and then, well, yeah, 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 double, double, double. Otherwise, you're going to run into some nasty shit. The, I actually really like, I know no one else would like this, All so right, this right. is probably not good for the health of the game. All right. But I would generally like to see, like, nobody have gear. <laughs> like... <laughs> I like the other route. Like, you're stuck using your, like, blue, and, like, you're stuck in Light Forge dude, for a long dude, that's time. that's, like, private server shit, though. Yeah, well, like, like phase, I just don't... Phase one in private server time, it would last, like, months. Remember, it, like... Yeah. Like, BGs wouldn't come out for, like, what was it, like, six months or some shit like that? Like, you think, yeah. you think phase two sucked well, on, on actual I, I, I actually liked... I actually think ranking while leveling was a huge plus the season of mastery. I mean, maybe I, I don't speak for everyone, but for me, it was so much fun to kill someone while ranking and think, wow, this actually matters. Like I'm getting leveling. something for this. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You said while ranking, ranking like it. while leveling. How, sorry. How easy was it to gank people while you were leveling as a paladin? It's, I mean, it's pretty easy. Um, but once you get reckoning, well, actually that does laughable. No, I actually didn't use reckoning. Huh. Actually, that actually, that's a good thing to bring up because um, I think Deep Red is a lot better while you're leveling. Oh, uh, yeah, red aura. And, and you eventually get Repent. No, but you're switching over repent. by that point, right? No, I don't switch over to Reckoning until, uh, okay. like, well into Deep 60. Like, well, the, the, the reason... Yeah, the problem with killing people is just catching them. If they want to run away in a straight line, you can't really catch them, so... Well, the, the thing is, like... Um, while you're leveling up, most people they just want to do their quests and be left alone, right? Yes. So having a an ability to, you know, do return damage is not really the best way to get good honor. I actually if people were to ask me when is the best time, I'm actually kind of working on something like uh best situation for each spec. 
And there is actually, in my opinion, the best time to be classic rat, like the old school rat you saw from 2004. Yeah, like S. Is while leveling up. Because you can heal all the content still. You can put on healing gear, heal it all. You can, you can do, yeah, you can pretty much do everything. I like to get improved rat aura. It's like the only time I ever get that ability because 30 damage on auto is actually a lot when everyone has terrible gear. It's also really good for tanks. And most importantly, uh, now with getting honor while leveling um you can kill people that don't really want to fight you i mean it's still hard it's uh paladins are kind of bad at just killing people that just don't want to engage with you so the horde, um, the horde weren't trying to kill you guys six ways from sunday no actually alliance outpopulates oh, yeah, the horde. Right. a lot of horde is yeah. just desperate to get their quest done so really what it turns into is like you just hunting down. I mean, occasionally, you find someone that wants to fight you, but the thing is, uh, deep red fights well enough one v one. It's fine. It it's does. it's just not a very good spec for one v two, in my opinion. It's just like yeah. I'd rather have reckoning if I had to fight two but it, people. But it's actually pretty good. Or at even run- holy, it's maybe. Actually, but it's actually pretty good at running away from two people. Yeah, but um, more than than that, it's just like when you're trying to get honor. Even killing a green con is important. So yeah, having repentance true. and it's done, you can get a kill, yeah. get the honor. Got grenades. Did you have grenades? You can be rank or? eight. Uh, um, yeah. Oh well, actually, I tried. I actually made a mistake. I regretted it so bad. I tried something new. I went skinning and uh, mining. You're a fucking idiot. At first, <laughs> yeah, well, I, I was like, oh, okay, gold's gonna be so important because no, no, I'm no, not gonna no, do no. any real no, raids. No, 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 no. It was absolutely horrendous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to have grenades. Yeah, you well, cannot like not play the well, class. Well, it, it's it's even worse. I don't know if you've noticed this, but like skinning's amazing on the private servers, but on actual retail, you don't get fuck all for gold. It's a complete waste of your time. Yeah, it was really dumb. Skinning, you just go just go but, kill more mobs. It's like what the fuck. I had to stop midway and restart my profession. It was yeah, it was yeah, bad. Yeah. It was the time. Were you, but you were probably smart enough to keep all the mining materials. Yeah, I'm eventually get rid of mining too. I always get rid of mining for blacksmithing because I need the. Mithril insignia, thirty second immunity to fear trinket. It's so good. Yeah, but that's only a ten like minute cooldown. It's gonna be a million years from now, though. Like when you're seriously dull. Really. I'm actually I'm getting to the point where most of my gold comes from AOE grinding. Ah. And once I get to that point, I don't really rely on finding arcane crystals anymore. Hmm. I, I usually like, I, I run, when I'm getting mithril insignia, I usually just run around Alterac Mountains all the time because you got the uh, I I well normally when I'm Normally, I run around as herbalist and miner, so the Alterac Mount Mountains just make sense for me, right? You got frost oil I can get, and I got all that mithril I can get, and it just works out. But you got rank 14, which means you have engineering. Um, yeah. You could drop it. Engineering is kind of cheap to level up. Hmm. No, I'm just going to drop my – drop all – like, I'm going to engineering blacksmith, just straight dueling – Okay. Uh, no, that, that that's I don't, I don't, I don't need the gold mining anymore. I mean, I just put on a. Yeah. The I mean, problem is, I, reckoning's terrible for farming gold because it doesn't have consecration or whatever. Really? Hmm. But um, I often just go like a whole week. I switch specs and I go to a gold farming spec and I just farm up a thousand gold or something. Yeah, I just have alts a good um, farm for me. So, but yeah, my paladin he's also engineering and blacksmithing. So. Honestly, if you're a paladin yeah. and you're not engineering and blacksmithing, you, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Well, I mean, it's fine. You don't, you don't have to have blacksmithing. It only helps against... You really only need it against warlocks. Um, yeah, which... but it's also super helpful against um, shadow priests if you struggle with them at all. Yeah. Like, well, you can... Like I think there's other ways to beat shadow priests. You don't have to have it. If you're deep... Whereas... Yeah, but imagine trying to fight one of them with, with deep holy and no mithril insignia. Yeah, yeah I don't suck. know. That would suck. It's yeah. just a okay. impractical fight. It takes forever, anyways. Neither one of you can really kill each other. True. Definitely true. Okay. Um. So you wanted to do a tier list a while ago. Have you changed your mind since the uh, the whole ret thing? Uh, uh, I want to talk about what being able to twist changes specifically, because you, you're okay. acting like it's not that big of a deal, but in my brain, it's like an extra six hundred points of damage must must be something, right? It feels good. I know you can probably it's kill cool. rogues a lot better. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm going fast because I'm actually at work, yeah. literally. So, um, yeah. Let's start with that. So, as far as dueling, there's actually not that many matchups that seal twisting in classic will help you in dueling. 
it might help you a tiny bit against uh, mortal strike warriors uh hmm. if you're really you got to be careful because you might be doing something stupid and end up wasting damage but if you do it perfectly you might sneak in like 100 or 200 bonus damage it's not going to be huge it's 120 um, per proc so Oh, you're talking yeah, about Yeah, but you, you, there's only yeah. small windows you want to do it because you don't want to give up your globals at certain times you, and you don't want to Are you sword and board versus the warrior or are you two-handed? Uh, that's a good question. No, I usually two-handed. It, it, if I do sword and board, it's just the beginning of the fight. Ah. Just uh gotcha. It kind of depends on what timers they have and what try, what try what they to, have going on. Try to use up their rage and that kind of a thing on your shield. Yeah, but most of the time it's just straight up two-hand. Yeah, I always find um, that, I always found that weird about your dueling style against warriors because on paper shield should be better because you completely screw over their rage generation. You, but... need, you need a lot of uh, command damage, so hmm. and it, you just lose so much command damage when you switch to one handed shield. No, I, I, so I, yeah, I know, but um, okay, makes sense. I'll, I'll take your word for it. Uh, I know Holy Reckoning doesn't give a shit. But anyways, um, yeah, so what else does it change? Yeah, if Holy Reckoning, I usually go Shield versus Warrior, if I have the Shield talents, especially. Yeah, yeah totally. Well, it's not even a matchup at that point. I mean, let's be real. Um, I don't say that. As you're saying, uh, I don't... Yeah, no, I think all the yeah. classes are pretty fair. Fights. Uh, nah, no, it's not a matchup. Okay, moving on. <laughs> um, I, do okay. Know, I do know for a fact, like, what, what, when I think about rogues that give Paladins theoretical problems... I think about a perplexity style rogue that is going kind of heavy on the stamina so they can survive wreck bombs like nine out of ten times. Oh well the the, the main the main thing is um what, what I was about you know, to say is I think hacking that, HP what, with AGM or something. Right, but you what, can't wreck bomb them. Right, but what I was gonna say is I think that extra six hundred points of damage from the seal twisting kind of nerfs that rogue strategy into the dirt. Well it doesn't nerf it into the dirt, but definitely like like, um, how, how hard is it for you to watch out for AGM? I mean, if you're going to actual duel, like you're yeah. you're dueling a, a proficient dueler, it's it's super, it's a super big concern because you have to. Yeah, but a, a concern, but it's it's like you'd have to be an idiot to to to, to be spamming your stun, uh, um, so you. You get still it have to, but you still got to hit them to create pressure, like so. Uh... But what, what, what I'm saying is they have to – like, like what's their strategy? Their strategy is I open up on you, and they have to just pop AGM somewhere. I suppose as soon as you get a full wreck bomb, they have to they, pop AGM. They let you – they have – they let an opening because they don't want to space things too much where you start getting, like, multiple stuns and multiple – like, both your shields up at the correct times. Like, huh. they want to keep the spacing in a way that you only do, like, one shield, and they – so you can kind of let yourself be vulnerable at a certain point, and you can do like evasion tanking normally or whatever. But yeah. you combine that with AGM, to survive a stun. Yeah, but and I, then um, I, I'm trying to think about when they pop their AGM because I, I'm okay. So in my brain, I'm like, okay, um, the moment I give this paladin five reckoning charges, it's on their spec. Huh? What's up? It depends a lot on their spec. Okay, but, but, but just follow. Depends down. on a lot. Just follow, okay, go, follow okay, for a sec, okay? So the moment I give that Paladin five Reckoning charges, I have to pop AGM because if I don't, he can PvP Trinket at any moment and stun me. And then it's then I'm just dead. Um, but that's... How long does it, how long does AGM last? It's like 30 seconds or some shit, right? Do you know uh, I don't think it's 30. I think it's 20. I have to go look again. Mm -hmm. I don't I, think it's 30. I know it's long enough. So that, look it up. Yeah. I'll... I can't look it up. I'm not going to go look it up. I'll look it up. Okay. Um, yeah, so I guess if it lasts long enough, then it doesn't really matter when they pop it. They're going to have AGM for the entirety of a toe-to-toe -to -toe phase, which would be really ne bad for you. Um, do you counter that with your own fucking AGM? Like, <laughs> like Yeah, 20 seconds. Okay. Do you counter that with your own AGM? Is that the play? I'm like, oh, if you're going to AGM, I'm going to fucking Sorry, AGM. I, I'm on my work. Wi-Fi is probably not the best. Hmm, that's fine. You hear me? Dracova. Hello. Yeah, I'm still there. Okay. Um, all right. So it doesn't. You're saying. How, how does it change the rogue matchup? Okay. Um, if they go like high HP and have a like, basically they can survive your red bomb, right? Okay. Because the, the the if they have like dark, 
what is it like the 0.5 gear is pretty good mm. but it's not a lot of, it's not well it's a lot, decent amount of hp if they don't have enough hp you can just wreck bomb them and kill them right yeah but if they have enough hp to survive which is pretty easy with trinkets um what i do is i just uh i go shield and sword and I actually use my own uh, absorb trinket shield. So like uh, Re Re Reckoning doesn't have heal in combat. So what I'll do is I'll stun them and they'll have like bear of trinket out or something. And they think like, since they have mind numbing on me, uh, it'll with one, even one pushback, I won't get my heal off. Right. Okay. So I'll use a, I'll counter bear of with uh, like a Rathy basin trinket, which will absorb all the damage and prevent all the pushback. Oh, nice. And I use a, Blessing of Light. That's yeah, actually uh, really helpful. Kind of, yeah, it's kind of annoying that rogues have uh, the improved Eviscerate right now in Season of Mastery, and then we don't have uh, the best version of Blessing of Light, because Blessing of Light is actually really important for a lot of duels. Uh, not Blessing of Light, but the... Uh, Blessing oh. of Light is important, but also more important than that is the holy. higher rank of Holy Light. Yeah, yes. Holy Light. How, so, the how the fuck did they get increased Eviscerate? That's AQ. Uh, I think it's it's just like one of their books they got early access to. Um, oh, I think it dropped in like faggoty ass. Yeah, <laughs> that's stupid. Huh. What? Yeah, it, it um, it doesn't it doesn't make them like. All right, one sec. Let me pause There's the video no... here. I got to answer the door apparently. Okay, we should be recording again. All right, blessing of light. Okay. Well, so. Uh, we we're talking about yeah, they had the eviscerator or whatever. He had to get the door, so we paused it. Anyways. Back to this uh, thing. So yeah, uh, yeah. I use an anti pushback trinket, and I okay. prolong the fight. Uh, I use my PVP gear to get thirty five seconds. Any uh, any weapon in guns. particular? Like I, I I like to think you'd use Edward the Odd, but I keep telling yeah, I, I keep telling you and Tal Rain to use it, but you don't listen to me. It's kind of annoying. What? Would you at least test Which Edward weapon? the Odd out? You know, on within Warrior. Uh, I I don't or... have a hit. I I feel like it. Uh, okay, I know you like that item, but yes. like. They're using Ghastly Strike and stuff. You can't really rely on getting a melee proc. And especially since the gear scales, like eventually rogues have like 75% dodge or something retarded once they're in invasion with Ghastly. Okay. If you say so, so. It might just be a whole depends. reckoning thing. But, you know, so be it. Yeah, um, I just, I don't I don't like that it doesn't do enough damage. It doesn't create enough pressure. It, it, um, it might be the fact that Blessing a Sanctuary just, when the rogue doesn't have energy, their DPS falls off a cliff. You know what I mean? Yeah, she there's there's some other so much from yeah, her. it's ridiculous. There's some other. Th I need to create more pressure than that. I can't ah. do a what kind of like a, a more tankier build. Sustain. Okay, that makes sense. So, yeah, I just like really slow one handed. Like if you can't, so uh, so the PvP hey, Grand Marshal get like a Deathbringer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if I don't have a one hander and then drag the fight out until I get to certain certain trinket rotations and then mm. just uh then you can just bomb them and kill them that's cool uh it's here's the thing is like i've been fighting a lot of rogues and since i out gear everyone right now i just keep beating them and it's always like oh you got better gear than me but the thing is pretty soon i'll be switching over to one point uh melee hit chance and i'll have maxed out improved shield spec and uh if you have five out of five readout with three out of three improved shield spec you can like start uh, blocking gouges and stuff because once it does no damage, the effect doesn't take place oh, anymore. And it oh oh for reals oh okay um I've always wondered yeah. about that because I've never to my knowledge I've never blocked a gouge and I couldn't figure out why but I have almost no points in in you have a, you have to get your block you have to get your block value high enough. Uh, I wonder if uh, blessing of sanctuary operates on it as well. I think it does. Huh. I'll have but... to look into that. But yeah, it was really annoying because I, I, I kept doing these rogues and I was like, okay, eventually their gouge is going to fucking fail. And it would never fail. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, well, whatever. Maybe I'm just I mean, not lucky. Some of this information I'm working with, I haven't got to test too much in Season of Mastery, but this is how it worked in Classic. No, you're, uh, you're probably uh, right. Cause I, I, I've just never seen it. And it would also make sense why S-Fan never got lucky in that um, in the Tips Out tournament, if you recall, when you told him to go specialization and he didn't. Yeah, I, have I mean, a good memory. I have a good memory. It's just, uh, what else do I have to say about that? <clears throat> about rogues? I mean, 
Oh, yeah, that's you, not much. To you say were specifically about it. talking about how things are going to change once people start catching up to you with gear. Yeah. Um, so yeah, right now I'm so powerful with my gear cap, I can just one shot people, and it's kind of not good training. And people know that they see my gear, and it's like, oh, well, you know. <laughs> I mean, you're one-hander, but it's still kind of broken because even the rank 14 weapon's too strong. But the thing is, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna keep scaling against rogues because I, I, I'm actually missing some of my talents that I'll be picking up later. I, I'll progress into as hit chance. As you get too much hit chance, I usually often eventually progress into uh, improved shield specialization. And also, I'll be taking up Crusader on my one-hander. Uh, right now, I just have weapon chain because I'm just using it for fighting warriors. Hmm. You don't so need, uh, those, those two gear upgrades will help me keep pace with a lot of the people that are going to be catching up with me. Are it's using, annoying, though. Are you using chili weapon enchant or anything? No. Uh, chili? Really? Powder? No, I'm not using... I use oils in real PvP yeah, because I of dueling that. etiquette. I don't I don't bother with it because people are... You know, dueling etiquette's Yeah, I noticed, weird. I noticed the frost oil makes things kind of... Like, not only do you outgear people, but the frost oil just kind of makes it stupid. <laughs> it's just like, oh, now you just can't run anymore. Oh, okay, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Um, you know what, so, Frost Oil times two procs with SOR, if you didn't know. Okay, I was wondering, because uh, Peace Blade was saying, like, oh, does it? And I said, no, it doesn't, because it's only weapon procs. But I've noticed it's procking like crazy. Yeah, no, yeah so, it, it'll proc off command, it'll proc off SOR, so enjoy. But, like, uh, Hand of Justice doesn't double proc off of... Uh, SOR, just command can proc off it, right? Right, right, right. Um, okay, so, so I'll, I'll tell Peace Blade I was wrong. He, uh, he was right. Yeah, I so, told him. Yeah, so specifically how it works is it's like if it's any kind of application to your weapon, it'll work with SOR, but if it's any kind of outside source, it doesn't work with SOR. So, okay, so well, that actually. Yeah. So end chance will makes... times two, oils will times two, and that's literally it. <laughs> you notice, like, in, uh, I can't even, I got a add on for when I play because I was getting frustrated. I'm going somewhere with this. It's related. Okay. I was getting frustrated at bombing people, and it would show, like, 2,000 damage, and then the <laughs> enemy would, like, die. And, like, I think people watching, like, I don't stream, really. I just do, like, recordings, right? But people yeah, yeah, yeah. watching these recordings, they, uh, I mean, whatever. Semantics. But, anyways, um, they'd be watching this and be like, oh, you only hit them for 2K. And I'd be like, Damn it, no. I hit them for like 4.2k. <laughs> a stupid fucking game doesn't load all the numbers. Yeah. So I got like a normal uh, floating yeah. combat. Yeah, text. I saw it. It's pretty funny. Your entire screen fills up But it numbers. still doesn't even... Sh I don't even know if it's still showing all the numbers because it loads them and then it has so many numbers to load. Yeah. And I was kind of yeah. wondering because I was like, why don't I get like four like frost bolts per bomb? That's weird. <laughs> it's just because I'm probably... If, you, if, if it's true... If what you say is true, then I'm actually getting uh, five whites, five SORs, 11, one command, 11. 11 chances, and judgment can be... I don't uh, know. It has to be at one global them. cooldown. Yeah. <clears throat> no, judgment of command does, and I switch oh, into command, command yeah. and judge command. Oh, really? So it's literally, in one in 1. Okay, 1.5 so seconds, 12. it's 12 opportunities to proc uh, frost oil, which would make a lot more sense, because I'm seeing, like... Very common to see two per bomb, if not more. Yep, yep, yep. So that would that'd be kind of interesting. I bet you were like, "Huh, I'm getting really lucky." I'm like, no, no. Yeah, I it. was wondering. Well, just the frost oils. I, I definitely prefer oil over. Uh, I heard they fix shadow any, anything oil. Else, the way shadow oil works. So shadow oil probably procs better. I was now. testing the shadow oil, and I was not getting kind of. It's for the amount of gold it costs. I was yeah. not getting. Yeah, I would stay away. High enough that. numbers and, to satisfy. And, and, yeah. and it's just kind of stupid too, because it's like the value of a slow on our target is is far in excess of what uh, shadow oil can provide us. I don't know. I just like damage because if you just kill someone, you don't have to worry about slowing yeah, them. Yeah, but um, <laughs> the, the frost oil can double as an opportunity to heal. You know what I mean? Like, you could jump back and get a flash of light in if that's what you need to do. But that's a holy reckoning mentality, I guess. Yeah, you're, I'm, I'm not thinking 1v1s. I'm thinking, like, we're in a big group and we're all bashing something. I just need it to die. Oh, yeah. Shadow, so. shadow oil. But then again, you have all those other moments where... How often have you bi how often have you well, lapped a mage, got the frost oil it, proc, they blink away, and it doesn't fucking matter. You can catch them, yeah. Or, I mean, doesn't really do enough against Druze because flag carriers, but... 
Sometimes you can catch like non-Jewish flag carriers just with a cross oil brock or something. Um, you don't have. Yeah, a mug. Oil. You got a mug of hurt on you. I just haven't bought it yet. All right. I know you're gonna be like, "What the hell, man?" Well, you probably. You, well, I consider it, it, a mug of hurt and Edward the odd deep pulley <laughs> items. I don't really yeah, yeah, bother with yeah, that. Yeah, effect yeah, right yeah, I lose too much damage. Yeah, you're right. Um, I was about to say. Every time um, I swing, it has to put someone down a lot of health. Like, yeah, if I, I'm, especially yeah. if I'm being hit. And the game's on my back. I have to hit really hard. I yeah, I, 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 was, I, I was about to say that. It's like, as Rhett Reckoning, you're in this weird scenario where it's like, why take the chance of slowing the druid when I can just take a third of his life away? You know what I mean? It's like, I will make this bitch stop because he needs to heal. I want to I wanna do, like, dueling videos someday with Deep Holy because then you really will use Mugga Hurt. You will use Edward Dollar. Uh, and it's really, really, really good with added. fast... Yeah. It's really good with fast... Uh, Attack speed weapons. I think Peace Blade's one of the better um, deep holy duelists I've seen. To be perfectly honest, he trinket swaps really good. I can't trinket swap for shit. I suck, but I don't have the add-ons for it, so it's like whatever. <clears throat> okay, um, how's deep? Okay, so how's season of mastery in general? Um, you, 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 you know what I said on the subject. I was like, they need to. For me, it was like you, they needed to double PVE drop rates, or it, it was going to be a shit show. Um, well, they did increase it just recently. They increased it by 33%. Yeah, it's probably... Well, it's okay now. It's Before, it was just not... This problem is, like, damage has been done. Like I said, there's the haves and have not at this point. Like, okay. the guys walking on PvP gear at this point just massively out here. That bad, Like, huh? <laughs> Like, basically, if you were the hardcore PvE guild at this point, yeah. You better have sent all your guys to do AV spam and get rank 14 weapons because or, you're not going to make any world first with... Uh, gotcha. Or at least rank 13 gear, I guess. Yeah, like, it's a... it's. I just feel like it's the opposite of what they should have done. I loved it. It it worked out for me because yeah. I hate rating. I don't care about it. I don't care about the community rating aspect of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I am a little irritated that the game feels so small because it's all confined between these little battlegrounds. Well, but you can finally live your dream in the sense that you're actually yeah. uh, finally ahead of the curve with gear. Finally, it feels finally. good. Finally, how's it feel? <laughs> feels good. I was so I, sick of like. I, I actually kind of like playing I, on. I, yeah. two I see. Servers I see with... you in battlegrounds. You're just fucking dunking on people. I'm like, nobody stops this piece of shit. What the fuck is going on? This is not normal. So the really good player. So if I run into pre made, they can just stomp me with like elemental shamans and stuff, and I just. But that's you know, I just had to. You gotta die. It's whatever. I can't do anything about it. But when I pug, if you watch me pug, yeah, and I'm not doing some weird experimental shit, like I'm doing my genuine, yeah, you know, ret reckoning. It's like. It's like you might die. Twice. I might even lose. Like, okay. I might lose, but they will just either they won't even fight me anymore. They're like, okay, fuck this. It takes too long. Yeah, well, and in, the in, ones you get cocky end up getting all their teammates killed because I get in, counters yeah, off them. In, in those scenarios, I, I, I've seen it. I've seen those scenarios you're talking about where it's like three guys attack you, you kill uh, at least one of them, maul the shit out of another one, and then they get they're like, okay, that was stupid. Let's not do that again. <laughs> yeah. So then they, been, I mean, so then they start ignoring you, which just fight. makes it worse. <laughs> but there's always that idiot that like gets oh, yeah. real butt hurt. Yeah. He's coming back. That, and then, that's why like, I said it makes it worse. Teammates, yeah, that's why I said yeah. it makes it worse. It's like that one hunter that just keeps attacking you, and you're like, oh, you're giving me wreck charges. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it's <laughs> really fun. I mean, at the same time, you know, I grinded all the way to 14, so it's like I'm already I'm so, kind of sick of the the battleground, like. I don't play an MMO to be stuck in this tiny little space. It, it feels fucking weird. I don't like it. Yeah, says the guy. I want to be it. in this big ass world, like exploring, fighting over resources. Like uh, I want to feel like yeah, I'm yeah, playing, yeah. like Minecraft, where I'm exploring the world and fighting over something, not like yeah, in a little box. Yeah, yeah. But that aside, it's still pretty much everything I would want that I can just see the average person just being like, this fucking sucks. It really catered to sweaty people. I mean, and it's like, it doesn't even cater to PVP -ers. Like it doesn't, it didn't really cater to pre-made PVP because uh, AV meta was so strong. Oh really? So it had like a weird pool that it is catered to. I don't think it was, I don't think they did like good, 
Well, you know me. What I'm pissed mm-hmm. off about is that they didn't come out with a fresh No Changes Classic as the control. Right? So they're doing this experimental Season of Mastery thing and then being like, oh, look, nobody likes classic World of Warcraft. I'm like, no, you need the control. If you're doing a science experiment, the control has to be a No Changes Season of Mastery for, uh, Classic WoW fresh. But they didn't do yeah. that. So they're, I, well, think, I, I think they're stupid. And that segues into something I want to talk about, which is like um, with paladins and like how good they are and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, my biggest fear is that they're going to be like, well, we kept not not balancing or like they didn't even make paladins like classic. They just like gave us seal of righteousness and instant attacks. But then they like they messed with some other stuff and they fiddled with things. And it's like, OK, but I don't even know. Like this is like remotely genuine. Like there's certain things. I question how they have a uh, hammer of justice and judgment of command programmed. I have a lot of things. And I get nervous whenever the, anybody says changes to classes. I'm like, oh, uh. yeah. So they're going to, I'm worried they're going to be like, look, you guys didn't like this. We're going to change it to what you like. Well, All right, what, Crusader what, yeah. Strike. Okay, yeah. let's remove Renek, Renekin. Let's uh, remove Reckoning. And it's like, you don't even like, that's like the best part of the game. Like, yeah. these little weird things like that. Like, there's a million games where you hit a button, use some mana, and do an ability that costs dam- you know, yeah, damage. Yeah, yeah. Very it's predictable, like, very boring, very standard. Whereas reckoning is like, uh, my opponent has to give me wreck charges, like he has to fuck up. Do you have any idea how little damage we do, especially as holy reckoning, if someone's not attacking us? I, I'm like a yeah. limp dick. I'm like, bow. How's it going? Pff, how you doing? Pff, well, yeah. You have to create the pressure by healing. Like, yeah. Unless you're yeah, re- reckoning. Yeah. Okay, you can do deep red. There's there's only like two things you can really do to create pressure. Yeah. If no uh, one's attacking you, just start healing. Someone will come and attack you, and then yeah, yeah you're off to the races. So most specs for paladins create all their pressure by healing, and 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 that's that's how they get people to mm-hmm. want to deal with them. Otherwise, they're too easy to ignore. Even deep red's kind of that way. Like like uh, a good deep red player is healing. Believe it or not. Yeah, that's that's really funny. I was making a video of Classic Ret, and I was, at first I was, uh, I'm doing it now, actually. I was doing, like, a recording, like, how to play it. I played really well, and I thought, I was like, nobody wants to see this. Like, <laughs> all I'm doing is healing till I'm out of mana, yep. then running up to enemies, yep. and auto-attacking while still cleansing. Yep. And so I tried to play more, like, aggressive, like, and you suck. try to get, like, chain my chain my uh crits together but which i have no control over because it's it's yeah. random and i can't get up you know i can't get like a discipline i mean it'd be cool if it was like all right power infuse me i'll get berserk and i'll get a seal command crit for 3k but it's like why don't you just give that to somebody else you know it's just so yeah the reality is even deep red the best way to play it is to uh, be ma- max rank holy lighting until the the beginning yeah. phase of a fight is over. Yeah. In the beginning of a fight, all the silences go out. Yeah. The big chain lightning combos come out. You throw yeah. out max rank heals. Yep. Survive that, yeah. and then you counterattack by assisting yeah. your warrior. And it's not a very good build and, and, for one v one. And specifically, well, yeah. And specifically, you're uh, you're waiting into combat while using your GCD to cleanse the shit out of everything. It's dog. Like that's your it's, life. You're a cleanse bot, nine thousand auto attacking Andy. Yeah, you gotta. <laughs> the thing I always try to explain to this. Okay, what? Well, why can't a holy paladin do this? This is actually a really good point, and it's very true. And if people understood this, they could work with paladins more. Was, they could actually include say, them in the Holy paladins. Let me give you this. That, can't they? I mean, the only difference is they have repent. Well, let me give you the the the, uh, the one thing Rhett really has going right. for it. Eye for an eye. Which is, you can do like 80% of your damage and while cleansing. still cleansing. Yeah, it's, it's gross. Uh, you I, can't cleanse I made a whole holy video on this. <laughs> you can't cleanse and holy light at the same time. I made a whole video on and, this. <laughs> but the thing is, that's just something, it just doesn't really go in people's heads. Like, you're playing with someone, your teammate 
Yeah. So I actually like to build deep red, like not dueling stats. I like to get maxed out strength technically. What the fuck? And uh, like heal to I'm low on mana and then run in, just kind of cleanse and yeah. freedom things and hit whatever the warrior is hitting. Huh. But because dueling, du dueling is kind of how you defend your right of passage. Yeah. I end up stacking stamina yeah. no matter what because I don't want to. Because what happens is somebody you're doing really good in the battleground. Somebody says you suck, and then you have to go beat them in a duel. And you need the stamina. <laughs> so because of because of that, you need to always stack stamina. But I actually kind of like to stack strength on a deep red and ah, yeah. play like a, a glass cannon, and they can't focus because you got your bubble. Yeah. And uh, you start off healing. Well, what 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 what's really awesome about yeah. it? Um, okay, so this is for ret reckoning. This isn't deep ret, right? Um, what what's cool about Ret Reckoning in my mind is you can do something very similar with, with the prioritization on cleansing. Um, but if if your warrior dies, you're still the next problem they have to fucking deal with. You know what I mean? So you can wait in there right next to the warrior. If the warrior pops, it's kind of okay because you can hold the line. Am I wrong about that as Ret Reckoning? Yeah, well, what happens uh, once you start finding better players, like really good players, and they yeah. see that you're Ret Reckoning... They just blatantly ignore just like you. just ignore this guy oh. the whole game. Mana burn him. Ignore him then. Ignore him the entire game and just use cast your damage on him. Basically, like ah. wait till everyone else is dead. So the deep red is a little better when the like when you're in a pre made in that mm -hmm. uh, you're a little harder to ignore because you do more damage without actually getting hit. Oh, and you have repentance, good. which lets you get more heals and more control over the fight. But I worry about so, your I worry about your ability to be a backup warrior as deep red. Well, do you so you you back okay so warriors do way too much more damage than you versus yes. uh, people in cloth. Yes. So what you do is you're in the mid. I call it a midline player. You sit in the middle area. Yeah. And you hit their warriors that run up. Like while you're positioning and get your hills up, you'll you'll hit their warriors, and you do about as much damage as the warrior can do, but on play because like uh, you have still command it goes. Through. So you're not actually. I mean, you will assist and go hit a caster. Yeah. But like a big part of your job is to a warrior goes in berserk stance, you stun him with sanctity aura up, and you're now and you get a critical. That's two hundred and let's see berserk, sanctity. Vengeance and 2x and a spell damage. So it's like what 245% crit damage. Yeah. So you'll crit the guy, uh, a guy in plate for like 16, 1,600 and stuff. Yeah. And then judge them. And if that crits too, that's another 1,400. So it's 3k damage. So basically, you, you can you defend the back line more. Yeah. You heal. Once they dive, once you get past the uh, counter spell phase, you defend the back line. You can, you gotta be careful about breaking sheets. I don't. This is, I'm not a big fan of people spamming Consecration, but you should, you can put uh, Consecration rank one in the back line and prevent saps. Yeah, rank one. It's a really amazing, big thing. Yeah. One second, I gotta get, I'm at work. I'm gonna pause the video for a sec. That, uh, oh shit, you're back. <laughs> sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, no, I just paused the video for a sec, so I started it up again. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Well, um, I would argue that like deep red is like actually better in pre made than it is in pugging. Like I don't like I don't like pugging as deep red. Well, like, we had we, we had an entire pally cast about this with Tal Rain, remember? When he was trying it when he was ranking and he was like, Okay, deep red is actually a fucking thing. Yeah, it's with with a pre made as and, and you're just healing and if, you want, if you're dealing with people that are crying about, like, oh, you should be holy, just tell them you're holy. Did they won't even know. Did your, they won't even yeah, know this. I know. Did, 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 did your pre med ever start asking you, like, telling you what to repent? Or were you just allowed to repent whatever the fuck you wanted to? I literally, like, didn't pre med at all this time. Almost. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I used I used absorbed if when I had to heal I used absorbed trinkets I'd go in with like AP absorb yeah and I'd pop that so I could get my heals off uninterrupted mm. I always went in but now, uh, now but I didn't want to spend the gold on me spec you, you you can tell me if this is a bad idea but how I would play holy reckoning in in battlegrounds like Warsong Gulch for example is I would put myself in a position where I'm I, I'm in that middle position so like you have the casters the, the healers in the back. 
and then you you have um, that no man's land between them and the melee, right? Yeah, I would that's put, our deep rest, yeah. Yeah, I, I okay. Um, I would put myself there as holy reckoning and start healing. And I do that specifically because I want to entice a rogue <laughs> to come over and play with me. Um, because a rogue will come over, they'll, 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 they'll interrupt my heals, and they'll start attacking me, and they'll give me all kinds of wreck charges. I'll pop my PvP trinket, stun them, blow them up, and go right back to healing. Like that, That's the ideal scenario. The other scenarios really? that were, would happen would be I'd catch counter spells and shit, and in which case I would just start wading into combat. No, okay, so let me explain something. So right. that that's like kind of what you do when you're plugging. Yeah. But at a high, if you're pre mating, you you want to be backlined as all holy specs, hmm, like as sense. much as any other type of holy paladin, because they'll they'll know when to dive deeper and stuff anyway. So you, it's like you don't need to. It's oh. kind of like you're okay. I'll be honest. It's like you're getting bored and you just want an excuse to attack them. So. Mm. Which you want an excuse for something to happen, but you should really be focusing on getting out of combat, drinking, and uh, chasing down the objective, and sitting in the back. Hmm. But when I pug, it's like they don't cross heal enough, so I can still kill people as holy reckoning and have fun. Yeah, I I, so. I would still do that tactic while pre mating. Um, typically, what happened when I was pre mating is they would see that I had like a two handed weapon, and they would completely ignore my healing capabilities. Yes, that's actually what's real. okay. So that's something that really happened a lot to me. Always happens to me, and they they learn not to do this. It's like the first round or second round. They always yeah. target me, like yeah, yeah, yeah. never target me as the first healer. Yeah, I get more heals yeah. off and like black slice it, it, than our be, main it, healers. It'll be like halfway through the battleground before that you, that you start noticing they they wised up. Like, oh, this guy's oh, okay. just spamming <laughs> heals the whole time. It's not even that. It's yeah, just, um, it's just like your heals heal as holy reckoning. They heal almost as hard as as the holy paladins. So, <laughs> yeah, ignore me. Well, at your peril. I, it's basically deep red. I play like in between with the intention of uh, healing, like us uh, melee off other healers and healing while uh, people are silenced and stuff. Uh, bopping you, and freedom, you, like you, bopping behind me and freedom in front of me, basically. Huh. Uh, what, about, what, a, what, what about repenting behind you? Yeah, like a rogue jumps on yeah. um, your, your, your priest. Your priest your, yeah. yeah, you just repentance. Okay. Um, that's why I gotta be really careful about dropping consecration because it's it's like it's really good for preventing saps. But at the same time, now you can't CC anyone like with sheep and stuff. So yeah, it's not always a uh, obvious thing whether you should do it or not. Yeah, I agree. Okay, that's cool. Um, I, don't, okay. I don't like deep red though. Like it's okay one v one. It's okay in a lot of things, but like or I my think, problem is just like I think we can. I have say to do that, everything by myself. That deep deep red is like as as a spec it's support. Um, deep red. No, I'm, I'm talking uh, outside of battlegrounds. Just deep red in general. Okay. okay. I, I think deep red in general is just a solid paladin spec. Like. It's the jack of all trades, master of none, paladin spec. Yeah, but you mostly but, people want to be hyper, want to be like hyper or specialized. So, what's the point of having a jack of all trades? It's more fun. Yeah. It's more fun than being holy. It's more fun than being, you know, a lot of other choices because you can kind of do a little bit of everything. But yeah, that, that, that's why I call it the jack of all trades, um, um, paladin spec, because the, the thing can tank, the so, thing can heal. Um, the, 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 the thing can, uh, uh, duel in one V one. Um, but it, it's just yeah. not, it really sucks though. At, uh, I think it sucks at one V two. Yeah. I mean, compared to like a rogue, it's garbage at one V two. The only major issue I have with deep ret is, um, comparing deep ret directly to Holy Reckoning. You can see that deep ret isn't, it, it has flaws compared to Holy uh, Reckoning. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you cut out there, but I think I know what you said. Uh, can, yes, you, can you hear me I'll now? Agree. Yeah. Okay. Me and um, me and Pally can live on the other sides of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, they, everybody on my channel knows I live in China. So, uh, um, okay. So, uh, what Let's I was saying nothing about the CCP. What, what, what I was saying is, I love Deep Red. I love the concept of Deep Red. It's just when I compare it directly to Holy Reckoning, it, it, it's just it's it's straight up wanting. Like it's not even like oh, Deep Red does this a little bit better than Holy Reckoning. And the only thing I can think no, of is so, maybe it fights mages a little better one on one than Holy Reckoning, but definitely. In, just, in just about every other category, Holy Reckoning is just a better spec. 
Well, no, here's the thing. The problem is the, mm -hmm. the counter the counter to Holy Reckoning. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, yeah, you can... Well, that's not really true because you can just heal. You just, you're basically just a healer. Um, <laughs> I don't know. You see a lot of Holy Reckoning paladins that just get bored and they want to deal damage. So I guess that's... Well, there's the a thing is, there's a time and a place for you to wait in as Holy Reckoning and BGs. It's yeah, I think it's overused though. You should like, most of the time yeah. people wait in. They should be trying to reset or regroup. They they just get bored. Um, and there's a I, there's I, a window where a deep threat can actually go in and actually wait in and win a fight. Where uh, a lot of times when Holy Reckoning is waiting in, it's yeah, it can still turn the fight. But no, I'm I'm, so, I'm so, I, in pre maids I'm I'm specifically talking about that scenario where. Um, You've already technically won the 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 the, the skirmish in yeah. the middle, and you're it's just a mop up operation. So you might as well just wait in and start doing yeah. what it is that you do. Um, the worst yeah. the worst time to wait in would be in the early stages of the fight when Horde has the advantage. They're gonna they're gonna nuke people. No no no. You're max rank holy lighting. <laughs> you're not fucking around. <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. But, uh, but if so I if I catch it, should be doing the same thing too, really. But if I catch a counter spell, that's like what ten seconds of silence or some shit like that. Um, I I might as well try to do something. You well, know, I would I would oftentimes just if I was really if they were really good, I would just focus on repositioning more than mm. unless I was deep red, and then I would I would uh, attack. Okay. So hold, uh, uh, holy reckoning, I'd probably reposition. It depends on all the circumstances, of course. Yeah. With deep red, I would actually go up and start autoing something because yeah. it might just you just might pop off and hit something for three thousand damage. Ah, so makes sense. And you don't need counters. You don't need a rogue to hit you or anything. But I still like the Holy Reckoning because at the end of the day, you're still twenty six points of holy. You're almost as good as any yeah uh, um, deep holy paladin. But but so. that but that's just Great pure that, that's just pre mades. Um, in in pugs, Holy Reckoning is just a dream. Just like Ret Reckoning is a dream in pugs. You're just like, oh, I love my life right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I do not enjoy playing deep red without friends because it's all about switching between heal and damage assisting. Because, yeah. okay, think of like a, a rogue. Okay, okay, I was, this guy was asking me for advice, like, how can I get kills like you do? And I said, oh, I red reckon, and I explained to him, he's like, okay, but I don't want to play that game. Wait, I want to play, uh, I have to get this order fuck? over here one second. Okay, okay. I'm, yeah, I'm supposed to report. I'll pause the video. I'm starting the recording. So we're back, and we can't remember what the hell we were talking about, which is fun. Yeah, I, I'm at work, so I'm having to, you know, do work, so I keep stopping or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, Jacob is like a lab technician or some shit like that at a hospital. It's pretty funny. Talking about yeast and shit over there. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> um, so he says yeast, I think rogues, and I'm like, oh, okay. They itch. Uh, um, yeah, so I was asking you, like, how difficult would, would it be for me to get rank 12, rank 13? You say it's not that too t terribly difficult. I, I think it'll go down. I mean, it's easier than error, and it's it's really hard still. You think so? Um, I get it, I get it, but error. I think it's gonna get easier. Okay, I mean, well, the question for me is, how hard is, how hard is it to get a hand of rag? Because I still have I have my I have sulfur and hammer on that's error. probably easier, right? If they had added drops, I don't know, I have no fucking clue. I know I'm an I don't know either. So. I'm like the worst person to ask that. I'm not even MC attuned. Mm -hmm. I have full epics and I have like no. I'm not even MC attuned. It's hilarious. <laughs> you could get in a at this point. I won't though. get the attunement just because I'm being aggressive. Like I'm being. I love people asking me, "Will you come heal our raid?" I'll be like, "No, fuck you." <laughs> <laughs> Walk by them in all my epic gear, and they'll be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm gonna join this random guild that like killed Lucifer once. I think it's funny that they're. Asking, I like the name. I, I think it's funny that they're asking you to heal when you're in like uh, rank 14 gear. It's like, bitch, do you think I got rank 14 gear to fucking heal in a raid? Fuck you. I'm swinging this big yeah. dick sword or not at all. Oh god, you just can't have um, social drama. That's what's. Eh. I I don't know how easy it is to rank. I really don't. I mean, like, raid. That either, like. Ranking, like, they they banned a lot of gold buyers when I was ranking, 
at a pivotal moment, and that made it so, like, uh, maybe it could have gotten easier because the gold buyers are the people you have to compete against. And since they were out of the pool, maybe it was easier for me. Oh, interesting. Okay. Huh. So I might be jaded. You know, I don't. I don't know. I think it's just in general easier, and I just don't see it. I, by the way, I hear an echo. You have it like back feeding. Um, I don't know. I think okay, it stopped. I think it's just you when you talk loud enough. There's an echo in the room you're in. Oh, okay. Um, um, I wanted to ask you, how do you like the rank fourteen weapons? It's awesome. Would you prefer Ash Condi? I, I think I saw you had an Ash Condi. If I was fucking yeah, crazy. I just better an Ash Condi. I think. It's got so much stamina. Holy fuck. Like, if you, if it's just that, uh, how command procs are calculated. Like, if I swing, I think Ash, I have to look at it. I think Ashkandi does less damage per swing, but it's not just that. Like, yeah. Ashkandi's a 3.5 speed. Ashkandi's faster or whatever, right? But yeah. the thing is, if you, if someone crits you right now, you instantly counterattack them with a three point, with a wide yeah. attack. And that change to path command is solely based on the PPM, not actually how fast you're attacking. The PPM is calculated on the speed of the weapon, but once it's calculated, it's used like a flat percentage every time you swing. So 3.8 is significantly better than uh, 3.5. Yeah, okay. Interesting. I was just and wondering, that's I was just wondering if, if there was like two added weapons you would prefer over Grand Marshals. I think most of them are just so incredibly close. It's just not enough of a difference to really. I got you. I mean, I I don't even know. I guess Dark Edge is even though it's three point five, it's just such a good proc. And then like, obviously, Might of Minithil is just yeah. god tier for us. Like for warriors, yeah, you gotta it, absolutely decide between some things. It's just but so for us, it's not yeah. a decision. But but. The major issue in my brain is it's like it's just so fucking hard to get those weapons. You yeah, and I mean? also at this point, how the seasons are set up, it's kind of like the game's over. You get a mind minifil, the game's over. Like, yeah, I think they should just ban it in dueling circles because it's kind of like you have a weapon that no one else is ever gonna have. Mm -hmm. If you win, it's probably just because you have that weapon. On Leg like, on Legacy, just do they ban them in dueling circles? No, I'm just saying if they if they do like dueling tournaments, uh, I think they should consider like Dude, dueling, I know that's kind of dueling tournaments would be so fucking scuffed in season of mastery. Because again, well, they, no, you, have, you have that element of haves and have nots. They're gonna have rank fourteen assholes who are also like in it with their guild, so they get prioritized all the other stuff. They're so gonna have yeah. a, a, a guy who for some fucking reason has all the PvP gear in season of I mastery. I saw a guy with Akira uh, you know Every single one of his things was PvP gear or other epics. Because once you get the PvP gear, you get the dibs on the PvE gear. So oh, it's oh god, oh yeah. it's like there's, it's there's such a haves and have nots. Holy, fuck. there's like guys running around with like two pieces of light forge and an <laughs> army helmet or something, and then there's and then there's guys running around with complete epics. That's so bad. And, and That's it's like, so you know, bad for guild morale. The game. Holy it's, fuck. It's, it's really bad game design, probably. I mean, uh, like I said, I'm one person, and I'm just going off my what I think people uh, feel. I don't really know what people feel, but I would just imagine it looks like it feels like shit. Like, it's kind of <laughs> dumb. Like, I can't even duel people because it's like, oh, well, it's just fucking one shot me at your <laughs> dumbass sword. I'm like, yeah, yes. I, True. St I still remember when I beat that stupid uh, rank 14 warrior with his goddamn stamina and druid buff. <laughs> and I was like in Blackwing. I was not I was in fucking uh, Blackrock Mountain gear <laughs> because I know what I'm doing. Oh, God. But, um, so uh, let's talk about something. I gotta go soon, so. Um... You want me to pick something or you want to pick something? Well, let's just say Seal of Righteousness, t Twisting. People want to know about that. I'll, I'll just talk about it real fast. Um, so not too many dueling scenarios. The one dueling scenario that seems to help a lot uh, is versus Rogues. We talked about how a lot of times I fight with Shield anyways, and it's not really about the one-shot. But mm. there is a lot of times, like especially if you outgear them just a little bit. Um, well, I imagine that if it's a non-dueling scenario, it's it's just fucking death. 
because they they they're not geared correctly to survive it you know yeah and and in, in group battlegrounds you're getting like three people hitting you and then you swing that's when it gets really good so i kind of like it because it's uh it does the thing that i like the most anyways like and fighting you, three and, people that you slightly out here yeah, and you didn't know it gave you lots of extra procs on your oils <laughs> yeah so mm. uh Oh, other I mean, other fun facts. You can't... Other fun facts. If you want to test it out, is um, uh, uh what is it? Um, life steal enchant procs like a machine gun, and it double procs with SOR. So it actually it, it actually does shit tons of damage. Believe it or not. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I got an extra weapon. I'll probably put life steal on it. And try it. Yeah, give it a try. I think in I think in a wreck bomb, you should be getting like an extra two hundred points of damage or some shit. It's it's actually kind of ridiculous. I think I mathed it out. It has like a seventy percent chance to proc per swing or some shit like that. And then you're you're talking like with SOR is that high? That seems not right. No, no, that's not with SOR. That's per hit. So you have two seventy percent chances to proc. It's only thirty damage in healing. Is what is it based off PPM? So if you have a high delay weapon, that's why it's so high. Uh, I can't remember, but I think so. Yes. Okay, that seems not right. I'll, yes. I'll, I'll go to Enchanted I, I, and try I, it I, I know. I know, not... I know if you have uh, Deep Vengeance, then you want it a lot like that or Fiery sometimes I just know, to keep yeah. your Vengeance back I, up. But... I, I know on my Edward the Odd, it's closer to like 40% chance to proc. So that 70% is probably coming from a 3.8 speed weapon. But yeah, it's 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 gross because it can double proc. And you'll even see it in, in your logs where you'll have one attack and it'll proc twice. You're like, what the fuck was that? Well, I'm definitely gonna get, try that. I have an extra. I bought an extra weapon to try out different enchants without having to destroy the enchants I already have. Yeah, okay, life, so. yeah, life steals uh, cheap. You can do that. So I have one last thing to talk about. Um, I've had five out of five toughness on my brain for a long time. Wait, wait, wait. I want to say I'll, 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 I keep beating around the bush with this. With the rogue thing, uh, really good rogues will be able to position themselves so you can't hammer adjust them. Auto, auto, hammer a wrath. What the fuck? Like, normally when you stun a rogue, you can hit them with two auto attacks and then hammer yeah. at them, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The really good rogues, they'll make the opening where they'll stand at a distance while you have crippling poison at you. So when you do hodge them, you have to kind of cleanse and walk up to them. Yeah. In that scenario, you'll only get one auto and one hammer out. That's where... Uh, Even with grenade? The, the bomb is super good in dueling. Right there, because... Your one auto is worth a lot more yeah, well, with extra 600 damage. Yeah, quick, quick, quick question. Um, that that transpires even with um, uh, even if you get the extra 1.5 seconds of stun from a grenade. Grenades get dr'd off of. Uh, yeah, that's why I said 1.5. Uh, it's still you can still set it up though because it's point. It's 0. 0.75 on a grenade after it's DR'd, and then your your wrath still in range. Okay. But um, I've never seen them use crippling poison it's on just me. One more, it's just like one more thing. Like I rather save that. That's, that's You've seen me do. I, I throw grenades at rogues when they're in stealth and knock them out of stealth. Yeah, so, yeah, like, seen that. Yeah. I've probably already used that grenade at some critical point. Uh, well, it, it's just to, it's just such a different life as Rhett Reckoning because they. They do not use mind numbing poison. They do not use wounding poison, and they do not use crippling poison against the Holy Reckoning Paladin. Because if they do, they just well, they probably would if they, they if they were like no they they, they just looking don't, for an angle. They just don't do enough damage, bro. Like you you come out of their stuns with like forty percent life and laughing at them. So it's like they, they just can't afford it. it. It's just a whole different world. Are they using instant? They use instant versus they always use mind numbing when I used to do holy. Yeah, they almost always use instant poison. Um, uh, That's weird. Well, it, it makes sense because um, you have blessing a sanctuary on you, and it's just doing so much for you over over the course of the duel. So you end up having like a thousand more hit points. Then, so imagine they auto attack you a hundred times, right? Um, you're reducing the damage from it, like, you know, 24 every fucking time. And that's like 2,400 damage that, that health you have that your re reckoning ass won't have. So it's really that simple. Okay. And then, so what was and, the other thing you wanted? Yeah. So I, I've, had, I... I've had five out of five toughness on my brain for a long time. I just want your thoughts on it. I, I remember you... versus anticipation or what? Well, I remember back in the day you were a really big proponent uh, of toughness. You were like, okay, toughness is a fucking thing, especially against rogues. 
And yeah, I, armor. And, and and yeah, and I used to kind of like you know squint my. I I didn't. I knew what you were saying, and I saw it in action, but I didn't feel like I needed it as holy reckoning. But then when I started fighting people in actual classic WoW, the, uh, the, they were so fucking sweaty that they kind of outgeared me for a long time. And I discovered yeah. that five out of five toughness was just the shit. It was also the shit with some. You remember how they could run out of your consecration auras and crap like that. Um, yeah. they, they really enjoyed opening with, um, the, the, their most powerful opening, which is expose armor and five out of five toughness in my book shits all over expose armor. I mean, I don't know if it shits all over it, but yeah. Oh, okay. It's, what I mean it, by, what I mean by that is, is expose armor is like a sunder in, in the sense that it reduces your armor by a flat a, a amount, like not a percentage. And so when you get that extra 10% toughness, it's like, yeah, you're uh, 10% armor. You're getting diminishing returns from toughness, but you just gained like 6,000 armor <laughs> compared to like their expose armor, which reduces your armor by like 3,600 uh, or some crap like that. You know what I mean? So it's, that's what I mean by, by it shits on it. So it's, it's like, well, it's really, really good. I mean, it, it's even better when you're going two hand. I mean, I'll give, I'll give you a really good example of it against warriors. So, um, uh, you know how when you're when you're fighting a warrior, you start have you start having to think about bopping to remove the sunders at certain amounts of sundering. Um, when I have like pretty much almost never, but yes, okay. there's sometimes you think about that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I bop. That's for fucking sure. Um, so for me, it's like uh, if I have three sunders on me, I start thinking about bopping just to remove them if I don't have toughness. But when I do have toughness, I'll wait for it to be five out of five before I'll even bop. That's it. more like that's more like Edward the Odd, like mm. one continuous health bar grind fight. Mm. But normally when I fight a warrior, it's like we just, uh, especially in game gear, it's just like a couple of seconds and either, you know, he's intimidating shouting or I'm bubbling. Yeah, like, yeah, no, it's it's a whole different oh, it's world. Not, That's what I find yeah, really fascinating is you play Ret Reckoning, I play Holy Reckoning, and a lot of times we do not see eye on eye on things. Not because we're wrong, but yeah. just because it's a whole different fucking world. I can get away with that shit. You can't. But then again, I can't. Yeah, but it still need. I can't. Tons of people, honor. I can't nuke honor. people out of existence the way you can. So. So what is? Uh, hmm? I have like. Three or four minutes, I got to go. So, what is, what's the point about it? What are you comparing it to? What, do you, what would you consider well, taking over ten yeah, percent armor? Yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah, much yeah. of anything. Okay, okay, so yeah, so the only thing that that I'm okay, so the only options to take over the ten percent armor in the skill tree would be three out of three um, uh, shield specialization, um, and yeah. or um, because you can end or it, um, you basically have one spare point. So I put one point into shield specialization and then five into the other one, right? The only, or I can get um, since you have so you have six spare points. Um, so the other options are three out of three um, shield specialization and then improved concentration aura. So either you have no toughness and you have three out of three uh, shield specialization and three out of three improved concentration aura, or you have like one point to spare, put it wherever you want to, and five out of five toughness. Those are kind of your options. Or you can so, mix and match hey. three and three and three. Possibly. I'll do my breakdown. I'm always changing these points, and it's depending yeah, yeah, on what yeah, I'm yeah. doing. I agree. And uh, so, improved shield specialization is the best bang for your buck out of these talents. If uh, you're planning on using a shield, like yeah. most of the time. Yeah. If you're just using it as a swap item, uh, if you're into dueling, it's probably still the best. If you're in the battleground PvP, where it's not so much about the one v one experience, they go for the armor. Um, I always get kings if I'm in the dueling mindset because you need to. Yeah, I have there's a lot of classes. Yeah, you got to have kings for the 200, 300 HP bonus against mages and, and death roll locks. Yeah, well, you, and stuff. you just have to have kings in general because one, people will bitch about it if you in a raid if you don't have kings, and then two, um, they're just yeah, there are there are edge cases. I actually do skip it. I skip it all the time for battleground. If I'm going just yeah. straight, like when I was grinding the 14, I just didn't even take it. Well, I just took yeah. For, for because holy, I honestly yeah. rather have defense, which people think is really weird. Well, holy reckoning, but, uh, holy reckoning is kind of weird in the sense that you're so tanky under most combat conditions that might is often just better than kings. You know, it's like yeah. might well, if you're, you're, if you're hitting someone, like I'm always removing my own buff and then recasting. Oh yeah, totally. And usually, if I need my my hit to really hurt, 
I'll, I'll throw up mine. I won't throw up Kings. Yeah, Kings is just uh, have an HP buffer. That's, that's like a, the yeah, only reason. That's actually something I learned from you. Was um... it, it, if I'm going for a sustained fight, I actually use Blessing of Light. Oh yeah, I don't it's, even. It's, it's disgusting. I don't. I don't use Kings or Might. I'll use Wisdom or Light. What weapon? And do if you I'm use? Uh, one sec, I gotta answer oh. the door. All right, so I know you got to go Weapon. in a moment, so I'm just going to say something real fast. Um, you do know yeah. that um, uh, Blessing of Light and Blessing of Wisdom have a 66% a proc chance per weapon hit, regardless of weapon speed, right? So I'm curious what weapon you're using. You keep saying... Uh, I'm talking about the buffs, sorry. Buffs? Oh, Blessing Not of Light. Seal. Okay, you keep using yeah. like, Seal of Light, and I'm just like, okay. No, yeah. no, I was saying Blessing. I'm talking about uh, Wisdom and Light. I use uh, That makes sense, because we're talking about Kings. Okay. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. Blessing Comparing of Light, and then, like, what rank of Flash of Light? I keep a rank 2 Flash of Light on my hotbar. Okay, makes it's, sense. Um, is that optimal to, like, rank 3? I don't know. I have no clue. But I'm pretty, I, I think yeah. for PVE, you probably want to use rank three as your down ranked one. But uh, I, just how my guys set up right now, I like rank two. Um, it's actually That's rank. Great. It's actually rank one for PVE. Believe it or not, I told you about this, didn't I? Yeah, but it's it's also like a certain point. Mm -hmm. If you're just regening too much mana. Then there's no point in downgrading too much. Oh, yeah. So yeah, th that's that's PvP though, not PVE. Um, don't talk to me about healing PVE. I actually know healing PVE. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, I like higher ranks. Your, your your rank one flash of light in in healing gear, uh, like your max ranks will heal nine hundred, and your rank one will heal for six hundred. So you, yeah. Yeah, for thirty five mana. So you're you, what you do is you, you actually gain, gain mana faster yeah, than yeah, you. It, you're it, gaining it, mana it, while you're casting. Yeah, yeah. So so what I do is is rather than splitting the difference with a with a higher rank, I just you know I, I max rank until I'm damn near oom, and then I rank one until I get enough mana to max rank again. Like that that's the process. <laughs> it, it's actually yeah. kind of ridiculous. Uh, often what I'll do is since I since I'm in a guild full of like uh, mentally challenged retards that are trying to parse. Um, I will rank one at the start of, of a fight while everyone else is max ranking. And then yeah. when they... That's what I normally do too. Yeah. If I don't want to use all my consumes, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll down rank in the beginning because everyone else is kind of like already overdoing yeah, 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 yeah. it. Yeah. And then when they're done, I'll, I'll yeah. go up. Yeah. So, so yeah. So you, yeah, that's exactly what I do. And, and so well, I'll, I'll, I'm not yeah. a PVE or so okay. maybe other people know well, better. Well, they know. yell at me too. They're yeah, so, like, you know, why does Pally... You ask me what weapon? Yeah. What do you want to know? So anyways, I would say improved shield specialization uh, is the best, then improved armor, uh, get kings for dueling. I need um, to test that gouge thing, because you might be right. Yeah, get readout. Try, if you want to test, I, mean, try, I haven't tried it in season too much yet, but I think if you get block value, like if you get the AV shield. Um, the what shield? It has the AV shield, Alterac Valley shield, has block value on it. Yeah. And do, oh, I guess I can no? test it that way. Yeah, you're right. The and course. have improved block object. value plus readout. You should be able to block lots of gouges, which they always that. cry about. Especially, if I like to use at least three out of five parry, if not five out of five parry. Well, so you start to mess with yeah. their CCs. Well, like they're Beijing yeah. tanking, and they try to switch to a a kidney shot. Yeah. Well. Or cheap. Well, what's cheap. nice is since I'm five out of five toughness, and one out of three but, shield specialization, I can just go three out of uh, three, put three points in shield specialization and still have three points in toughness. So I can split the difference. Huh. Yeah. Okay. I don't get improved concentration or uh, I've thought about doing that, but it, I, if it, I don't have yeah. the other part of it in holy, which you do, mm -hmm. which it's merited okay for you to get because you actually have the whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. healing combat thing, I always use. Uh, this is for anybody. If you're doing control ret or ret reckoning and you have to heal and you kind of want to hide your spec, you don't want people to know that you don't have any holy points, come to the battlegrounds with uh, absorb trinkets so you can get your heals off without like, pets pushing it back. That's kind of smart, actually. But, yeah, always do that. Anyways, I got to go. We can talk later. All right, man. Talk to you later.